Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm on Station Road in Stetchford at the former site of the Manor House Pub, now a housing estate. The Manor House Pub was once situated here on Station Road. The original pub was called the Bull's Head and was demolished and rebuilt in the 20th century. The pub was renamed the Manor House, extended over the years. The Bull's Head already stood on this site back in 1908. Over the years, the road system around where the Manor House pub was has undergone major changes. The former pub was demolished a few years ago and replaced with housing, completely altering this area. The Manor House used to be a well-known Stetchford landmark that people would use for giving directions. Stetchford itself covers a wide area north of Yardley, forming the western part of that manor. It lies east of the River Cole, marking the boundary with Castle Bromwich. The name Stetchford comes from the Old English words for stump ford or possibly sticky ford, referring to the historic crossing point over the river here. Stetchford was just a tiny settlement focused around this river crossing until the 1800s. But when Stetchford Railway Station opened in 1844, the village began growing around the station instead. The little shopping center at the top of Albert Road, once known as Five Ways, is now referred to as Stetchford Village. So that's a quick history about this site where the Manor House pub once stood. Let's talk more about the history of pubs in this area and the struggles many have faced over the years before closing their doors for good. concludes my look at the history of the Manor House pub site here in Stetchford. I hope you enjoyed learning more about what used to stand here on Station Road before the new housing estate. If you liked this video on a lost Birmingham pub, make sure to subscribe to my Joyful Adventure Audits channel. 
subscribing is 100% free. This channel has an ongoing series about lost and closed pubs of Birmingham as well as lost cinemas of Birmingham. I also explore abandoned and historic buildings around the city and share lots of local history. There's new Birmingham-focused videos coming out all the time so hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Help my channel keep growing by giving this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. And let me know in the comments what other lost pubs or buildings in Birmingham you'd like me to cover in future videos. I read through all suggestions from subscribers and they really help guide what I research and document next. Thanks again for watching, now get out there and have your own joyful adventures.